All right. Good morning, guys. Um, obviously, I'm not at my house today. I'm at my sister's house because they had to go back to work, and babies can't stay home by themselves. Say hi, Lacey. <laughs> anyway, um, so today I'm just going to go over the reading that you did yesterday, and then um, you guys are taking a short quiz. This is the last quiz grade of the year. Um, so make sure you do your very best on it. Um, also, remember, if you haven't turned stuff in, make sure you get that work in. I saw a few of you turned in some stuff yesterday, and that is perfect. So um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so that way you guys can see the um, <clears throat> writing as well. Okay, so the first question I had you guys answer was, how can a sports stadium impact the physical environment? Um, all of that would have been, you know, in this section. So you have potential runoff from replacing, you know, ground, grass, trees with parking lots, etc. You also have, um, you know, the potential for the waste in that stadium and from the building of that stadium, etc. Okay. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Lazy. So this is that pavement thing right there, um, which can like overwhelm the streams and rivers and whatnot. All right, so it's question two. Why is the amount of land used for golf courses such a concern in Japan? Um, okay, so obviously that would be this section. Um, in Japan, you have a very densely populated um, country on an island, which means there's literally no chance to expand outwards. So land itself is a very scarce and very valuable resource. Um, and you need a lot of it to build a golf course. And as we see, they have quite a few golf courses, which means a lot of land has been used for golf that might have been used for um, farming or forests or preservation area or even a residential area before. All right, um, number three. And then make oh, also for number two, you could potentially talk about how the golf courses retain only a quarter of the water that um, like a forested area would do, which means that there's going to be more runoff as they use more land for golf courses, that kind of thing. All right, and then the last one, what are some of the human environmental factors that developers must consider when deciding where to place a sports facility? This one didn't have a direct answer in the reading. This is more of like a making connections, like it says, thinking outside the box type situation. Um, so some of the factors could include, you know, how close are you to a major water supply? Um, what could potentially happen when it rains? Um, how might you affect the people living in the area? So again, like in Indianapolis, they raised taxes to pay for the stadium, that kind of thing. Um, all right, and then I had to do a list of pros and cons. So positive effects of, the, of sports on humans and the environment. Okay. So positive effects of um, you know, all of these things on humans and the environment. One, it does make a lot of money, which is good for people who need jobs, that kind of thing. Um, two, you could use some of that money to help protect or revitalize an area, like we talked with tourism. Um, you know, things of that nature. You know, you could also talk about business connections being made on golf courses. These are all good things potentially. But the negatives, the cons, the negative consequences would be things like um, increased runoff, more pollution, bribery and corruption, like what we see with the golf courses in Japan, um, you know, more pollution, etc. So there are a lot of good things and a lot of bad things, which is why it is not bad to enjoy, you know, sports or to want to expand. You just have to think about how you're doing it and what consequences it could have and then how can you kind of address those consequences so they're not as bad. All right, um, so with that being said, all you guys need to do today is do the check for understanding and that is it. So watch this video, do the check for understanding and yeah, let's get Lacey. Yeah. All right. You guys have a good day. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.